Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to take a look at the latest device available from Minix which is the Z83-4 Pro. Now if this name sounds familiar to you it's because it is. A few weeks ago we took a look at the Z83-4 and I'll post a link right over here and on the video description but right over here we have a Z83-4 Pro. So let's check it out. And we are back. So starting as always with a very quick unboxing experience. As you guys can see on screen, there is mainly one difference uh, between the Z83-4 regular version to this Pro version, which is the included VESA mount that now we can use it to mount it at the back of a TV or a display, a monitor, whatever you want to call it. And this, in my opinion, which I've stated many times before, may be very useful when we use it in an office environment and we want to have a clean desk. Now looking closer at the Z83-4 Pro, as you guys can see on screen, it is exactly the same as the Z83-4 regular version. It has the same enclosure, the same ports, so it is almost the same unit. Now in terms of specifications, this new model is using the new Intel Quad-Core Z8350. And guys, what I can say is that in terms of benchmarks, we will notice a little bit of difference, but in terms of real-world performance, the Z83-4 Pro will behave exactly the same as the older model Z83-4. And for more details, what I can say is that I will leave, once again, if I haven't mentioned before, a link right over here and down on the video description so that you guys can check out my in-depth review of the Z83-4 with tests on Office, Photoshop, productivity and so on and so forth. Now one of the main differences and makes a total and huge difference is that this uh, unit the Z83-4 Pro uses Windows 10 Pro instead of the Windows 10 Home Edition that we had on the previous generation. Now for those of you that are asking, hey Robert, do I need a Windows 10 Pro license? If you are asking this question to yourself, then maybe you won't need Windows 10 Pro and you will be fine with Windows 10. Nonetheless, guys, uh, we will not waste time here, but I will leave down below a few links so that you can check the differences between Windows 10 Home Edition and Windows 10 Pro and that you can decide for yourself if you are going to use the Pro uh, license or if you will be more than fine with the uh, Home Edition included in the predecessor of this machine. So in conclusion guys, what I can say is that I'm really happy to see this mini computer with a Windows 10 Pro license, which at least in my knowledge is the first mini PC on the market with a Windows 10 Pro license. Now this uh, doesn't mean much probably to me and you guys on that side of the screen, which a home edition will do fine for what we do, but for corporations this will make a huge impact, especially when they have to purchase or when they, when they think to purchase a, a few uh, mini computers and then they will need to purchase extra license for Windows 10 Pro so this will be an impact on the market probably not our market but on the corporate market now that being said guys if you are a home user and you are trying to decide uh, which way to go at this moment here in Portugal there's a gap of 20 euros difference so if we count in the face amount adapter if we count the improved CPU which is nothing in terms of real-world performance but it is an improvement and also the Windows 10 Pro license which in the future might have a better value in the market then my suggestion would be uh, to go to the Pro version on the other hand for those of you that have the Z83-4 regular version, guys don't feel bad at all because in terms of performance it is the same machine. And that is it. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget that usual thumbs up. As always my name is Roberto George and I'll see you on the next one.